Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're gonna analyze of course the Bitcoin price through all the time frames and also we're gonna have a close look on the CME chart and also on Chainlink. So make sure that you watch the video till the end and if possible also watch the video that I uploaded yesterday about this 12k breakout. So make sure to watch also this video that I uploaded yesterday evening so right now we can start here in the one hour time frame because bitcoin after pushing here towards thirteen thousand dollar we topped out currently at twelve thousand five hundred we have this consolidation and this possible retest of this new support about around twelve thousand one hundred dollar and as soon as we are coming down here to retest this level we are going to see if this is a confirmed breakout or not because in case that we are falling again below twelve thousand one hundred dollar then i think it is very likely that we are going to retest here this eleven thousand eight hundred dollar pretty soon you can also see that currently after the rsi being very overbought we came down to the 50 level and this is where we should expect here a big bounce from it and continue here the push towards thirteen thousand dollar also if we have a look here into the bollinger band you can see that we retrace completely back down here to the bottom area after overshooting it to the upside after the breakout yesterday now we have also the stochastic in oversold condition and the macd still shifted to the downside so we should in theory expect here a big bounce to the upside so if you want to go long then this in theory should be a good entry point but it is very important that we're going to keep this twelve thousand one hundred dollar support if we're falling below then this could indicate that we will see eleven thousand eight hundred potentially even lower again so make sure that you're using a stop loss slightly below twelve thousand one hundred dollar if you're going along right now and we can go over to the four hour because here as you can see we are trading above the 20 moving average and this moving average right now is at 12,040 so it is very likely that we could go down to test this moving average anytime soon not necessarily now but at least it could be that we're going to retest this moving average also because i'm getting right now a sell signal here on the bitcoin price so it is possible that we're going to see another leg down here before we potentially continue here this move to the upside the trend is still shifted to the upside so in theory we shouldn't be worried that we will have a big crash or anything like that also you see that the rsi is coming down here towards the 50 level so it is very possible that we're coming to test again here like we also did here in the past this 50 level in the rsi before we continue the pump and if we go over into the bollinger band here also the, you can see that we completely retrace back down here to the first moving average if we are losing here this 12,150 then watch out here for 12 thousand dollar we also have the stochastic shifted to the downside macd is still looking good but here also if we continue to push it to the downside we could have a bearish cross and this could indicate that we will fall here even lower potentially even down towards eleven thousand six hundred dollar and now let's open up the daily time frame because also here you can see that after shooting here to the upside from this ascending triangle we are now confirming or we should now confirm here this $12,100 support and then have here a new base to launch towards $13,000. The problem is here that we are still very overbought. We are in the RSI here in overbought condition. I had here a buy signal in my own indicator but as you can see we are coming again into very overbought condition up here like we had over here when I got firstly this sell signal over here but that doesn't mean that we will crash down. It is just possible that maybe we are going to retest the 20 daily here at around $11,500. As long as the trend is shifted to the upside and we're seeing no big breakout to the downside and losing significant support, everything is good and we should be still trending to the upside although if we go over here into the bollinger band you can see that this was normal that we're seeing right now a little retracement back down after overshooting it to the upside we could go even down here towards 11,800 before we continue to push towards 13,000 only if we will lose such important supports down here then i think this could be leading into a bigger dump towards ten thousand dollars to close all the cme gap that we have at nine thousand six hundred dollar but currently we are still shifted to the upside and we should in theory be still on our way towards 13, 14 and $16,000 before we see a bigger 
dump hopefully so the stochastic now is also shifted to the upside macd is still flat we really have to see where we're going to close today if we close above 11,800, then it's almost guaranteed that we will go towards 13 14 000 for the next level and then hopefully also to 16 000 dollar which is my final target for this move before we could see a potential major correction towards maybe 10k and then bounce again to the upside and also break 16 and 20 thousand dollar and uh, this target is because of this inverse head and shoulders pattern that we had here once we crashed down in march and uh, since we are now here in the daily i want to show you also now the cme chart because also here in my yesterday's video i pointed out that here on the cmes it looks like that we, we could be forming this rising wedge which is a bearish pattern and in theory we could even go up here towards thirteen thousand dollar and then here have a big breakout to the downside and potentially go down to test here this 10k to nine thousand six hundred dollar area this is what i think could happen if we are not able here to break through $13,000 in the next couple of days and weeks because in that case this would confirm my theory that this is a rising wedge which we are in right now here in the CMEs and we will most likely have a breakout to the downside here one final big dump before we continue the, our way towards 20k and also break it. So even though it is good that we had here this breakout from 12k and we're still shifted to the upside, I think sooner or later we will have a bigger dump to correct down towards 10k and then have the final move to the upside. But as long as we're staying within this channel, everything is good and we could potentially also break it to the upside. As long as we are not seeing a breakout here in the CMEs, in this bearish formation, we have no guarantee that we will come down here. So as long as we are within this channel, everything is possible and we just have to wait for a confirmation for a breakout here and then we can start to do big trades here to the upside or to the downside but currently here it really looks like that we are trapped here between the resistance of around twelve thousand seven hundred dollar and the support down here of around eleven thousand seven hundred thirty here on the cmes and that's why it is very likely that we could even come down here to those levels and then bounce again to the upside and retest here this $12,800 area, even up towards 13,000 before we're gonna see here a clear breakout to the upside or to the downside. Of course, it's a bearish pattern. This usually breaks down, but since we are in an uptrend and the bull trend currently is so strong that sometimes these bearish patterns also break out to the upside. That's why I just tell you, wait here for a clear breakout also watching here at the CMEs chart every day we can wait here for this uh, breakout because here in the spot market it just looks like that we are confirming the support and we should heading now towards 13 14 thousand uh, with the next move but that's why I always give a bit more significant on the CME chart because there it's everything a bit more clearer here we don't have any weekend data so that's why sometimes it is good to give a bit more significance here into the CME chart than in the spot market but let's see where we're gonna break out here at least for now it looks like that we could have a pullback but the trend is still shifted to the upside and you should still consider to buy the dips and long the dips also we can have a quick look here into the bitcoin dominance because after coming down here to the 60 level we're seeing a little pullback to the upside and in my opinion here most likely we're going to top out at least for now so maybe if the bitcoin dominance is coming down again towards the 60 level and maybe even go lower then we could see another spike here in the altcoins because currently they are bleeding and it looks like that we're having here a bigger correction uh, especially in terms of uh, bitcoin pair not only in terms of uh, us dollar pair so if you had some altcoins that you wanted to buy this is maybe a good opportunity even though i think uh, we could drop even a bit more here in some altcoins especially chainlink but we're gonna have a little update later on on, on chainlink uh, first uh, let's go back to the bitcoin chart and open up also the weekly time frame because also here I told you we are very overbought. We are of course in an uptrend and we are shifted to the upside of course for the long term. But also here you can see that the 20 weekly moving average, the moving average that usually Bitcoin likes to retest during an uptrend is down here at $9,900. So that's why I'm telling you at any time we could see a correction down to those levels. And then you should take it as a buy and long opportunity and not 
panic sell. Uh, we have the RSI shifted to the upside. We are in quite overbought condition here. Although I'm watching here at my own indicator because if we are getting here a sell signal, I think this could indicate that uh, we're gonna see this correction towards the 20 weekly moving average most likely. And remember, if you have a look here in the Bollinger Band, during an uptrend, Bitcoin likes to come down to the middle area here between 10,440 currently and 9,460 bounce from it and then continue the push to the upside. So also here, if you're waiting for a good long or buy entry, then maybe wait for such a correction. It can happen now, it can also happen in a couple of weeks, but sooner or later we are coming down to retest these two moving averages down here, the middle of the Bollinger Band. And this is always the perfect buy and long opportunity when you see the price coming down to those levels. It's hard to catch the top, it's hard to sell and rebuy cheaper. So always make sure that you have a bit of uh, fiat on the sideline or a bit of uh, tether on the sideline. So if you're taking sometimes a little bit of profits out, keep it there to rebuy when we are having this kind of dumps towards the midline here of the Bollinger Band. You can also see that the Stochastic and MACD also are looking toppy here. So I'm expecting a possible correction down here at any time soon, even though I'm not taking big profits or anything like that. I'm also not shorting right now. I just wait for such a correction to buy even more or start to open up longs. And the same thing is for a uh, chain link. I told you in my yesterday's video that we had here a sell signal in chain link. You see here the red dot and that most likely we're coming down here towards the 20 daily moving average, which currently is here at around $13.80. So if you want to buy chain link, maybe put some buy or long orders here down at around $14 to make sure that your order get executed. Because also last time when we had here a sell signal, we just came down here to the 20 daily moving average and then had here the big bounce to the upside. If we would have been in a bear market or we would see also Bitcoin completely come back down, then I would say sell right now because most likely Chainlink is going to retrace completely back down to where we started here, this parabolic move. But since we are still in early stages of a bull run and I'm expecting for the next one or two years, the prices on different altcoins and of course also on Bitcoin to go up, you should consider to buy every bigger correction or big dip here. So I think it is still okay to buy chain link here at $14 because also here there is a big high chance that this coin can really explode in the next couple of months. And that's why I think it is still a good buy opportunity if we're coming down to those levels. Only if we will start to create daily closes below $14, then I think most likely we're even coming down towards the 200 daily moving average here at around $5. But uh, since we are in a very strong bull market here, I don't think that we will come down to those levels unless we're seeing Bitcoin correcting down towards the CME gap of around $9,600. Then maybe yes, also in some altcoins and also on Chainlink, we're gonna have a major correction potentially even down here to the 200 daily moving average. But for now, I just see this little correction down to the 20 daily moving average. And of course, also on Bitcoin, we have to see if we can keep up here with this new support at $12,100. And that's why I'm keeping a very close eye here also on the CME chart. If we're gonna have a crash here below the support line, so below this trend line that we had here since the breakout of 10K, then I think this will be the clear sign that we're gonna correct down here towards the, this $9,600, potentially even down towards 9,400 to close the gap, have the bigger correction, confirm the new support, and then have the big push to the upside, potentially to break 16 and $20,000 in the next couple of weeks and months. And with that said, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget, moon up the likes. Thank you very much for your support. Subscribe also to the channel. And if you need any kind of account, for example, on Bybit, Femex or Bityard, where you can trade with leverage up to 100x, you find all the sign up links down below here in the video description. With my links, you can get some rewards, bonus, and you also support the channel. And please join also our free Discord trading chat. The invitation link is also down below here. Everyone is welcome and is completely for free. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!